Hello everybody, I am making a quick tutorial because I think I've come up with a better solution for getting Eevee to show refractive objects through other refractive objects. So here for a quick comparison, a little intro. If you just have objects with a refractive material in front of other objects, it does not show those other objects through the refraction. It only does one depth of refraction. So the typical solution people have come up with is this, where you blend a refractive material with a flat transparent material so that in the middles, using a layer weight, you see through to the objects behind. It's not actually refracting the objects behind, it's just showing transparency through to those objects. And then here is my version where you have a truly refractive material and you have a solidify modifier with a, another material on the second layer of geometry that is created by the solidify modifier. And what's nice about this is, unlike the glass one you see, you can see the actual objects refracting through refractive parts. And like if I go behind here, you can see actual distortion of the other glass objects, the sort of thing you don't get in the typical glass setup. So let's start a new file. I'll show you each of the approaches. I'll add a plane. I'll keep the cube and add a sphere, shade smooth. Okay. So once we go to the shading window, everything's flat. Let's give it that checkerboard, just so we can see. Okay. So if I give these materials or these objects material with some transmission, and we remember to turn on reflections and refractions. And I'll make an index of refraction of 1.1 so that we're not losing out. And then also we got to remember in the material settings for Eevee to enable screen space refraction. Now we start to see things. It is blurry because of the specular roughness. Okay, we can see the box until we give that box our refractive material too. And now that box just disappears. So the typical solution people do is to combine a refractive material, whether it's this or if it's the actual glass shader, they mix that with straight transparent. And you got to turn on the correct blending mode. People use alpha hashed. And now basically we're seeing both. We're seeing refractive properties and we're seeing regular flat transparent properties. So you're getting all this sort of double image and you can sort of see the, the glass through there. The way people improve this is using that layer weight node so that the edges of each object are more refractive and the centers are more transparent. Like so. I think with facing, you get a better result. So this works, and this is probably the simpler setup because you don't have what mine does, which where you have double the geometry. So this works in a pinch, but if you really need better refraction, like if you want this sphere to distort the cube behind it because it's refractive, you got to go with the other way. So let me remove these materials make a new one. And just like before, we'll make it transmissive. Give an index of refraction of one to one. Give that to this too. And enable screen space refraction. Roughness is zero. Okay, so we're back to square one, the version with the issue. So what I'm gonna do is for each of these, give them a second slot, material slot, which will then be used by the solidify modifier. And I'm going to call this like refraction level two. And you can think of this being like the inside of the object once it happens. So we are going to add a solidify modifier. And if I look at like the straight up geometry for this, you can see there's that slight inner edge. So there's double the geometry and inside and an outside. 
The outside will be the refractive one. The inside will be this new material I've created, this refraction level two. Now to get that to happen in the solidify modifier settings, you have to go to materials and change the offset to one. And now you can see, you can't really see the refractive material because the inside material is solid. So what kind of material do we give this? Well, I think just straight up metallic is enough. Still solid. Now it's perfect mirror. So to fix that, this one can also have transparency, um, not refraction, right? It doesn't work if there's multiple layers of true refraction, but if we give it a um, layer weight for the alpha, let's do spacing alpha and remember to enable alpha hashed. Now it's starting to look like glass again because we're seeing through and we're refracting Let's do the same for the sphere, just so we can see. Sphere needs the solidify modifier. It needs the second material offset. It needs a second material slot, which is that layer two. And now you can see some nice distortion as you look through the circle. And you can see the cube through it too. And if I were to go into the main refractive material and increase the index of refraction, you can see you can get some major distortion if that's what you need to go for. And of course, for something like this, we need a lot of samples to get a smooth result, but it still renders pretty fast. Now, if this looks too reflective, what you can do on that inner material is turn on backface culling. And that way you're not getting, I'm guessing it's double the reflection of the scene than it needs. Now you're only getting reflection from the outer layer, the refractive material. So final recap, this is the first material. This is the outer material, and it is, in this case, fully transmissive, anything that's refractive, right? So screen space refraction needs to be on. Then the second material looks like this, where I've made it fully metallic because we only need reflections if it's, if it's glass like this and it has a layer weight to the alpha, making the center transparent. It has back face culling on and alpha hash is the blending mode. And then there's a solidify modifier that is telling it to use the regular material, the refractive material on the outside and this secondary material on the inside. And that's how you get this result. I hope that was helpful and best of luck.